Hello hello guys I'm your boy Andanje from Andanje TV today tuko maeneo fulani hapa tumetulia maeneo ni kwa nyumba waambie kwa nyumba waambie kwa nyumba acha ni kosei waambie watu uko kwa nyumba kuna tabu watu uko so guys venye nilikuwa nishawambia kwa my videos ah uh, kwamba I'm going to record a video ah uh, with Janel today ama ni yake Janel ndio huyu Kalia I think mbona akaona kako very healthy or very healthy hadi yako na matutere na matutere hapa kwa kichwa so guys before tuendelee before niwaelezee before we continue I want to urge you guys tunaelekea 22000 22,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. I just want to appreciate you and to urge you guys to continue subscribing on our YouTube channel. Na watu wenye wanje to follow TikTok tuko over 214,000 followers. Also support us about TikTok na ku subscribe. So guys, wenye mko mkifuata story kwamba my ex amekuwa akinisumbua sana vita hapa na pale kisumbwana wakakuja na magoons wakani wakaijack waka, kwanza they beat me up they beat me up na vizuri tukakuja tukashika ule msichana alikuja kufanya kuiba mtoto tulimshika by the way i think you saw it on the video hiyo siku aliletwa na mama fulani hapa kwa nyumba kama ameiba mtoto and uh, after some 4 uh, to 5 days we also arrested the man who came who mwyali ni mwyala mwyali ni assault tulimshika bado tukampeleka ndani then after that tulienda paka when i told you that i went to church and i was prayed for uh pastor nanga aganiambia kwamba on it was on sunday that on monday you are going to create a report where the daughter is and actually nilipigiwa simu nikaambia kwa mali flani and we went there tulienda paka side za kahawa tukampata pale in a very stackish room yenye ilikuwa pale and baje tulikuwa tunashuku that room is used just for mambo na uh, uh, spiritual ili vitu za Nigeria nini nini and that's why we get we got the we got my girl here so nataka tu kuambia all those people who have been standing with me kunipata directions kuni kunipatia advices kunielezea vile nitafanya may god bless you so much may god also continue uh, standing with you family so janela kapa very healthy after hizo manano zote za kutusumbua huyu mwanamke anakuja anatusumbua anatupiga vita she is here saa hii anangurumu tu anacheka wambi uko hia ambe watu uko uko here 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 so she is very healthy and i told you guys maybe it will be the last video i'm recording with janelle ili zingine zote zitakuwa videos za pranks is either if I, i'm surprising my daughter or if i'm doing something good to my daughter or i'm bringing her something or i'm taking her to out these are the videos i'm going to post lakini i'll not be posting about the about my ex unaona eh, video yangu na ex itakuwa uwili akileta shida obvious i'll record and post it but for now about janel i'll be doing it janel tutakuwa tunamfanyia tu mambo yake kama surprise ndio ma surprise ah, vitu kama hiyo tukitaka nikitaka kumpeleka mombasani nampeleka mombasani nikitaka kumfanyia nini vitu kama hizo so she's happy also na shukuru sana because ni watu wengi sana tulikuwa tume miss pale online lakini sasa hii ako salama sasa hii unaona anapumua and uh, the problem ako naye alamea meme na inamsumbua tumbo 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 but uh, tumbo na joto joto sema joto uh, but i think uh, 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 she will be fine in few so mimi nataka tuko urge first of all uh, from morara Kebaso who stood with me for the support paid the bill from uh, Kenyatta Hospital 
ya pesa fulani nyenye nilisema also yeah. pastor James Nganga for your support for paying 420,000 Kenyan shillings pale uh, Aga Khan hospital our to what I'm just appreciating you kwa mambo yote yenye mmekuwa mkifanya mkiappreciate andanje for the good care yenye tunajaribu kusukuma hapa na pale and i know i'll never also want to appreciate all my friends who are outside kenya dubai uh, lebanon australia us wengi sana wamesimama na mimi sana 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 and i'm going to uh, just to name karibu four of them when you all simama na mimi from uh, since day one kuna <coughs> <coughs> Kuna my big friend anaitwa Melo ama Melody. Melody is a good friend of mine. Ako Saudi Arabia. She's a good person, a good friend. Who have been standing supporting Andanje. Uh, niko na mwingine anajiita mm, Saira. Saira ako Australia. Mungu akubariki sana. Uh, for standing with Andanje. Uh, nani mwingine? Our friends uh, who have been standing the line. Niko na Lea, Lea ako Dubai. Mungu akubariki sana for the support. For always checking up on me, checking up on the about the Nela Benyako. Lea mungu akubariki. Yes. Ah, uh, niko na nani? Niko na watu kadhaa Mungu awabariki tu sana wote, wote. Na hata wale wenye wako bi wako against ya danger. Tena Mungu awabariki sana na Mungu. Niweka microphone. Wao ni kinyamaza na nyamaza. Nikianza kuongea hata na inaleta kelele. Mimi kada kanga. Level. Seven. Kwa nini? You have used 70%. But just one. Eh, hey, unasoma tu binaki sikia. <laughs> unasoma tu binaki Yeah guys uh half uh, 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 people here niko leo niko na camera ladies Sala kuja salamia watu So ni sister yangu Naongopaje camera Ha Ah wewe Sasa utanisumbua ama tutarekodi video Jenel Ndago ni gani? Wana unasumbua? Ha? Wana unasumbua? So guys, uh, niko shua karibu kila mtu hapa anafraya anga kwa wana janela mafraya, sige? Tukifraya watu anafraya? Hmm? Wacha! So guys, nikuwa nawambia guys, uh, I think hii video yake ndio hii nafanya na ye and sita hii fanya video ngine in the name of siji mambo na maskandol nini benye nini wabea i'm going to make sure that ni make a high and big security on janel so that so that easy way to cause ote nini nini zenye zinafanyikanga tuachane na tuachane na zi so guys naomba tu naomba tu and naomba sana mwenle kutuweka kwa maombi in each and every step that we are doing and i'm going to change my content naenda ku change content kidogo but with time sio pole pole sio haraka tu hivyo pole pole ndio change to content pole pole tuone so nilikuwa nataka tukwambie kwamba hii ni kona janel kuna watu wako wamesema oh nataka tuone janel akwaje eh ndio huyu janel aka hapa very healthy saya asumbui at least eh hao watu walikuwa wanamsumbua kila saa sasa tunaenda kukabiliana na mondo Eh, mundo humo. Wacha mtoto akae vizuri. Eh, nena venya kati. Yeah. Mungu awabariki sana, Mungu awabariki sana. Kama uje subscribe, make sure you subscribe. We love you guys. We love you. I love you. Bye bye.
Nataka muwatch hiyo video naenda kuweka hapo next. Kwa bali. So guys, I want to continue from where I stopped from the previous video. If you want to follow up with the story of how I ended up leaving my kid, just um you can watch the previous video. I'll pin it so it's easy for you guys to follow and now you can get to this part okay so i just want to tell you guys that i didn't like leave the kid on bad intentions sour okay 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 if you've ever dated a lawyer man who told you that these people a deep lawyer man wachana na hao wamelelewa hapa hapa pangani pumwani hapa nairobi hospital if you've dated a deep lawyer man who told you like these people they really value their kids Okay, and a lawyer man who is the end of my hali nam toto. Okay, if you have like ukona ideas za kutoroka, you can't toroka while they're watching you toroka ring with their kids. So, so, so this is what happened. Hmm? Also, this lawyer man, and he made it clear to me that hata ikifika mahali that I'm going, I can't go with the kid. Okay, so this guy, he made my life so uneasy, so restless. Okay, first, the guy didn't have a job. Hakuna like providence yote uko hapo wewe ni mwanamke you trying to find utafanya gani utawacha gani Uta, ukifikiria ushaza umeza wewe ndio tena you go back to the streets to look for food it's not possible okay guys and on the other side i had someone who was into taking care of me sawa so i had two guys with me who you are willing to take care of me who you are like come on and end up but leave my kid okay so I was like I didn't want the kid to grow far from the dad. Una na kujua like ni memtorosha from the dad, okay? So what happened is I just chose that one day, okay? And remembering that huyu mtu aliniambia there is no way I can go with the kid. And either way nikienda na kid, ata find a way akufanya nini ku get the kid back. I had to do what most of you guys will do. I know I'm not the first person na jo mimi si wa kwanza wala si wa mwisho ku ku make this decision like I know it has happened if I'm doing it then someone else out there has done it okay so me I I don't like talking about this thing cuz it makes me so emotional and um when I'm talking to when I'm like narrating these stories to my boyfriend is always like please don't talk about it if you feel like your heart is still in um wounds like bado moyo wako kuna vidonda like don't just talk about it cuz it makes me feel so emotional i feel so bad talking about this cuz out there people have they've already given me a name okay they've already given me a name of the worst person on earth and it's it's never Sorry. People have already given me a name and I'm not a bad person, guys. Okay, I'm not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. Okay. I just made that decision that you would have made if you were in my shoes. You can't go with a kid because the dad gave you a warning of not going with a kid. Okay, and on the other hand, you have someone who can protect you, who can cater for you, who can open a future for you, a bright future for you. Okay, it's not like it's financial wise, but if you're a woman out there, I'm sure you know that all a woman needs is protection, providence, and assurance. Okay. Sorry guys, sorry. It's just that this whole shit talking about this whole situation makes me so emotional. So I'm like, I, I'm trying so much not to shed tears because what for? But guys, I'm not that bad person. I'm not a bad person. But yeah. So as I was saying, I don't have to prove it to you whether I'm a bad or a good person. You guys just judge whatever you want to judge like put me in that corner where you want to put me whether it's the corner of a good person whether it's the corner of a bad person but do whatever you want to do okay so um as i was saying guys it's 
it's an emotional topic to talk about and as i'm trying to narrate to you guys it's never been comfortable and it never will be okay so if you've dated a lawyer man i'll repeat if you've dated a lawyer man you guys can comment down below if you've dated a lawyer man tell me your experiences with a lawyer man okay you know very well these people you can't like take their kids away from them whatever like you can't who is it who is it or who you lawyer man like who is it or a deep lawyer man nimekombea chana na hao wamezaliwa pumwani hospital chana na hao wa nairobi hospital wale wamezaliwa kakabega hospital wale wale wamezaliwa vihiga like you can't who is it or na mtoto wa lawyer man and at the end of the day i talk to rock and i will bring them back to their dad because that's what happens it is what it is and um we, seeing that that i had this man who wanted to take care of me as i was and there was this other man who was like well if you're living live with my kid so i woke up that morning prepared the kid and i was like okay this decision i've thought about it for the four days that i've with this i've been with this kid and now what will happen is i let him get what he wants and i hope he's ready for the full responsibility of taking care of the kid okay and the good thing guys is that i didn't leave the kid outside i didn't leave the kid on the streets i didn't leave the kids the kid um at the gate of a hospital or a children's home or a someone's gate i left the kid in his in her sorry in her father's house okay and that was the whole intention okay so i left the kid safe and sound okay and um, i left the kid safe and sound and as i went i went knowing that the dad will look after her as he as always wanted to have her okay so i i knew that 100 percent he'll look after her i knew that 100 percent and dad will look after um i hear he's given her the name janelle he'll look after janelle and i don't have a problem with that so right now i don't understand why and is going on the media in the media to try and tarnish my name as i said i know i'm not a bad person and i left the kid in the care of the dad and the dad is taking care of the kid it's not like a stranger is taking care of the kid it's not like i went and dropped the kid in my village for my village people to take care of her okay so you people trying to throw shade at me every corner agum oh shame on you agum this you can't kill my vibe all I can tell you is you can't kill my vibe. I'm rolling and rolling and rolling. And at the end of the day, you guys will see what God has planned for me. And right now, I can tell you this point blank, okay? There's a, there'll come a time I'll have my kid back, okay? There'll come a time I'll have my kid back. But right now, let Adanja enjoy whatever he's enjoying because every man has his own portion of the meat, okay? Let him eat that side for now and I'll eat this side when my time comes, okay? So, but guys, that's what happened, okay? That's how I got to this point of letting go of my kid, okay? And guys, I'll still narrate to you how things are flowing, okay? Right now, I'm I'm in my thank God era, okay? I'm in my thank God era. I'm loving this space because I'm loved, I'm taken care of, I'm happy, I'm at peace, okay? I'm trying to grow as a person, most importantly, emotionally, okay? And I thank God for where I am right now, okay? So you guys can continue judging as much as you want to judge. My comment section on YouTube is open for everyone. Say whatever you want to say. I don't care. Me, I don't care. Because if I care, I, I don't care. Okay, just say whatever you want to say. My comment section is open. Throw those shades. If you feel like that's what will make you happy, feel free. Be my guest. Be happy. If you're happy, I'm happy okay but just know that you you wouldn't like you can't you can't bring me down i did what i had to do for the benefit of the kid i did what i had to do for the benefit of the father and i did what i had to do because at the end of the day i have to do what i have to do and my happiness has to come first okay so i don't care from which angle you're seeing it whatever angle you're seeing it at that's on you at the end of the day, I'll still remain a good muga and there is nothing you can do about it. I'll still remain a good muga and there is like whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say, say it. At the end of the day, I'll be a good muga and that name, you can't even rub it from being me. At the end of the day, 
when you say go moga all that anyone out there can see is me okay so just blah 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 you blabbering out there that's your business it's not my business and i'm out guys i'll continue telling you how things are going okay just follow this and i just thank you guys thank you guys for being for giving me an audience for giving me a listening ear and for trying so much to understand me i'll continue explaining how things have been flowing and i want to assure you guys that i'll get my kid back that's a promise i'll get my kid back and i'll have a life with my kid okay my boyfriend doesn't have a problem with that so long as i take it the right way but i'll have my kid back okay and i'll have a life with my kid and watch this i can promise you that okay thank you guys bye